next uh, i think i would like to invite uh, us or amit will you take okay so doctor i would like to invite dr nitin deshpande he is a prolific cataract glaucoma surgeon and refractive surgeon from thane and he has vast experience of using different types of edof so he will be sharing his personal experience about the same yeah uh, so thank you saurav and uh, i'll be speaking about uh, six different edof lenses that i have done uh, over some time now and uh, these are the lenses luxmart from bosch and lom alcon vvt trainer emv acryl isert from biotech lentis comfort and minivel saurav has already described principles of these lenses uh, so uh, i have followed the classification given by a meta analysis published in apao that is uh, these four uh, luxmart uh, rainer vvt and acryl isert as uh, are classified as type 5 that is modified central optical profile lenses uh, uh, minivel is uh, type 1 that is a pure edof based on spherical aberrations and uh, comfort as type 3 that is the multifocal with low power near vision addition uh, now demographics uh, uh, the male female ratio was equal and uh, mostly elderly population uh, so uh, almost 70% underwent uh, phaco emulsification 27% with uh, flax and others uh, 1.6 had a combined glaucoma surgery uh, along with uh, implantation of a edof lens and uh, 9% had glaucoma and 5% had some retinal pathology like mild to moderate uh, retinopathy uh, and some uh, clinically significant macular edema uh, partially but we found them to have a good vision potential so we implanted these lenses uh, now only select lenses had a cylindrical option available so rainer emv and vvt are th the only ones available and minivel so these three are available with toric models so you can see in baseline these three groups had some uh, cylindrical correction uh, patients with cylindrical correction but if you see one month and three month outcome uh, there uh, the cylinder was corrected beautifully by all three uh, all the lenses Uh, the refraction again uh, variable, but if you see a uh, one-month and three-month outcome, the refractive outcome was excellent in all the groups. Uh, the add on the first month was uh, again variable. However, acryl isert had a little higher add uh, compared to other lenses, uh, while Luxmart VVT and Minivel had the least. And uh, as we go ahead, as I share my statistics, you'll know that these three lenses have done exceptionally well. Uh, at three months, number of patients were laser in this group. However, the add increased in some of the groups because some patient demanded uh, a better near vision. So we gave them little higher add at the end of three months. But uh, the number of patients in one month group were much higher than three month group. Those who were really happy, uh, not all of them followed up. So if you take uncorrected intermediate visual acuity, Luxmart VVT and especially Minivel stands out above other lenses. However, Rainer EMV, Acryl Isert, and Comfort also gave a decent amount of uncorrected intermediate vision. Uh, at the end of three months, again, if you see Luxmart, VVT, and uh, Minivel have done exceptionally well. Although Acryl Isert and Lentis Comfort also have given reasonably good uh, result. Uh, uncorrected near visual acuity, Minivel stands out here, uh, having the best uncorrected near visual acuity. However, patients in other groups are quite happy. However, Lentis Comfort and Acryl Isert gave a little laser near vision acuity compared to other groups. Uh, and at the, again, three months, the similar picture uh, for uh, uh, near visual acuity. Again, as I said, these patients, the number n n number in this group was laser compared to one month, and these are the patients who demanded higher addition in some cases, and we had to give them that higher addition to. make them happy but uh, overall patient satisfaction in all with all these lenses is quite good Con contrast in all the groups is excellent uh, we were, none of the patients co complained about any uh, contrast related issues uh, just representative defocus curves this is luxmart you can see how beautiful vvt defocus curve is uh, this is rainer acryl cert and lentis comfort especially when we do rainer emv we do a micro mono vision where one eye we correct fully and the non dominant uh, eye we correct the slight target little minus 0.5 and with that this near and intermediate uh, vision 
improves a lot, uh, even in Renary MV cases. And this is Miniville. Uh, if you see Prescu satisfaction uh, survey, most of the patients were very uh, happy with the, all the types of lenses. If you see Miniville was ex exceptionally good in this uh, regard. Most of the patients were free of near vision glasses. So thank you. See, you have to see the picture as a whole, not in uh, pieces. So this is a multifocal lens gives you story in pieces while Edof gives you a continuous story. So if it was a continuous story, you would have come to know what I was doing. But here you see only that. So I was trying to jump and capture that. But since this is not a video, it just captures it by bit and pieces. So that is why Edofs are good because they give you that continuous vision for near. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nitin. And uh, just one or two questions as uh, Dr. Amit is preparing his presentation. So in your cases, uh, did you target hemetropia for uh, all IOLs or you were targeting little myopia? What, what was the general? Uh, so all the lenses I did hemetropia except Rainer EMV. Uh, and uh, Rainer EMV works really when, when you do micro mono. That dominant, although we check dominance and non-dominance in all the patients, but uh, in especially in case of Rainer EMV, we do a micro mono. And one more question is about the distance vision. So of course, uh, we talk about the uncorrected distance and near vision. But what was your personal experience regarding the dyscotoxias or the complaints that patients face after uh, using these IOLs? So the beauty of EDOFs is dyscotoxia are almost non-existing in all the lenses. Uh, if you see icrylizard model, there are some refractive elements on the surface, which you feel that might give patients some uh, halos glares, but even those patients are very happy. So in all six lenses, there was no complaints of halos glares. Patients were very happy. And was there any complaint of ghosting of uh, letters or when they read, uh, was there uh, any complaint? I have used some other lenses which did complain of ghosting, but these are the lenses that I do routinely. And these lenses are doing extremely well. So. Is there any period of neuroadaptation that you feel in certain patients? Not, I'm not saying about 100 patients, but maybe few patients. Do they? Because in trifocals, we talk a lot about neuroadaptation and taking time. So, do you find similar experience, or percentage-wise, is there any difference? Uh, mono, these lenses behave almost like monofocals, so there is no adaptation period. There are a category of lenses called hybrid adopts, where like Triumph or so, which is a combination of diffractive plus uh, uh, those patients you might have to counsel that there might be some uh, period of uh, adaptation, but the lenses that I've selected, uh, these lenses have no adaptation period.